Happy Friday, everybody! Today is Friday, February 16th, and we are going to go to a Solar Bears hockey game at the Amway Center. They're playing the Worcester Railers, and we're gonna go check it out, and we're pretty excited. Um, we are riding the bus because I don't want to deal with parking, and it's cheaper to ride the bus, and we're gonna check it out and see how long it takes. But uh, I feel like everybody needs to take advantage of free transportation when they can because it keeps the, not free transportation, public transportation. Less pollution, less cars on the road, it would just be better all around, but I know people are afraid of the bus or it takes too long or whatever, but we're taking advantage of the bus. So we'll see you at the Amway Center. All right, so we just got off the bus a few minutes ago, so we're in downtown Orlando right now. Um, walking the rest of the way to the Amway Center. It's about a half a mile from the downtown bus stop. Uh, so the bus ride took like an hour and 20 minutes and literally like 15 to 20 of that was sitting in a construction area in downtown, literally like half a mile from the actual downtown bus stop. So yeah, taking the bus really isn't that bad. If we drove the car all the way to Amway Center, we probably would have uh, maybe taken us about 45 minutes and we would have spent $15 in parking and this way we're gonna spend $8 round trip for the both of us and not have to worry about any of that even if it does take a little bit longer. So I don't know. It's kind of worth the extra time to me right now because I just didn't feel like messing with the traffic or dealing with parking garage. If you're on the phone while you're driving and you actually have to use FaceTime and look at the person you're talking to while you're driving, no offense, well, actually, I mean offense. You're a douchebag. Here's a little shot of the I-4 expansion, construction, whatever they're doing on I-4 that is causing my commute to be a living hell. I'm just hoping that once all this road work is finally done, uh, it improves. Traffic improves on the highway. I doubt it, but we'll see. They can build nice roads, but unless they have nice drivers, it's not going to make much of a difference. There it is, the Emily Center, home of Orlando Magic, the Solar Bears. All right, so we're in the Amway Center, and this section right here is the Disney Atrium. The Disney section. Yes, because Disney has their claws in everything, everywhere. We are gonna head up this escalator right here. So here we are, we are in Amway Center, or the upstairs part, like where our section is. We're in section 116, we're standing by 111. 116 is that way. But they've got food and drinks and a little solar bear shop set up over here because that is what we're here to see, is some solar bears, not Orlando Magic. They got an ice cream stand for Cold Stone. Yeah. Nice. And apparently you can refill your sodas here. That's cray cray. I've never seen that in the stadium. Got a team shop. Oh, they got some stuff for half off. I might have to take a look. All right. This is a pretty nice little center here. Really nice. Right. Of course, we're at the Amway Center, so they have the um, little. Orlando Magic history section right here. I'm not like a super huge fan of NBA. Um, I mean, I don't dislike basketball in general, but I feel like the NBA is just a bunch of people falling down all the time. But I don't know. Still pretty cool, the stuff that they got. Yeah, they got a little history over here. So here's something to check out if you're coming to the Amway Center. We got some John Gabriel shoes. Is that his name? What? It says stuff. Is that his name? Oh, uh, maybe his name is stuff. Maybe. Talking about this little critter right here. The rest of them, like down here, say their names. I guess the mascot is the Orlando Magic Stuff. This is the actual height of the players. Some of the players on the team. There's Courtney standing next to the shortest one. That's the shortest guy here. Stand, like, yeah. <laughs> That's the shortest dude out of these four. Are these like the four tallest people on the team? Look, here. Here. No. Because I was thinking 
I see people this tall at work all the time. I do. I just feel like they all look like they'd be like seven feet tall. They are seven feet tall, now, probably. Though, they're like six six. I don't know. There's a couple people I work with that are like that I that are stand next to, and it's like that. Oh, that's huge. No, they they're on their tippy toes. <laughs> They're on their tippy toes. They're a little bit shorter. So right here we've got their little like bar and tap house. You can actually see down into the stadium from the tables up here. Some drinks, some pizza, some food, some ice cream, cold stone. I actually kind of want some ice cream now that I see it. So this is all pretty cool. I'm gonna go take a look at the ice cream here real quick. Go copyright music. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. There it is. Our section is like over that way. Huge. More cool stuff. This is a really nice looking place. It really is. And they got the Black Bean Deli Cuban Cafe, which is a restaurant on Colonial that's actually supposed to be pretty good. It's not center ice, but the seats are actually pretty dang good. We're like right down here. I don't know if I would really like it if I ended up on the Jumbotron. It'd be cool if I was like filming the Jumbotron and then I ended up on the Jumbotron. <laughs> I would be horrible at filming sporting events. I can't even keep up with it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> that was a good save, but I didn't get it. <laughs>
have one thing going for them. They can say they play the M right now, if they haven't already before. There was a big fight and I totally didn't turn the camera on. I was too busy watching the fight. His stick got busted in that fight. gloves and everything. I missed another fight with the camera. I'm just not fast enough. You can see the helmet on the ground and the sticks and the gloves. So fast. The penalties. Booster number three, Ben Masella. Solar Bears number 19, Kyle Rankin. Four minutes each for roughing at 19.26 of the third period. across the street tapping out a beat. It's really good. They're using trap barrels and like buckets and stuff. Well that was a super fun game even though the solar bears lost. There were three fights. The first one was dragging on for a long time but I kept hesitating to grab the camera because I figured that the refs would have it broken up before I got the camera out. It did in the end, but if I had grabbed the camera at the first instinct I had, I totally would have captured the fight. Uh, and then there were two more that got broken up super fast after that, and I missed them both. But, so I'm sorry, no hockey fights for you guys tonight. But that was a fun game, even though the Bears lost. And uh, we're heading home now. Um, so I'm saying goodbye to you in Portuguese, because that's the country's, the official language of Brazil. So. So right up ahead of us is Church Street Station and the Church Street Market and there's a lot of like downtown Orlando restaurants and music and some nightlife and everything over there. So if you're ever visiting Orlando, go check it out. Just be safe.